dear students, welcome to our live stream devoted to uh, the information about the upcoming semester. My name is Anastasia and I work at the International Department. And today we're here with my colleagues, Ms. Maya Kurinaya. She is the coordinator of all English medium programs. Hello, guys. And Mr. Sergei Troshev, he is coordinator of Mara Students. Yeah, greetings, dear students. Um, we know that you might have plenty of questions and uh, you know t uh, you want to understand uh, everything that what will be going on and today we will try to answer everything so please don't hesitate to ask all your questions in the comments section in this live stream and now I'd like to welcome Ms. Olga Pogosian the head of international department with her speech Dear students, first of all, I would like to thank you for choosing MAI, being a part of our big family during that turbulence time. The pandemic has made all of us changing our lifestyle, closed international borders, and affected education as well. Distance learning might be quite challenging for both our professors, administration staff, and of course for you. But I think we have made a great progress uh, adopted to the new reality, help each other, and learn new things. We realize that it might be quite hard to find self-motivation to study at home. Um, you want to come to Russia to experience new culture, to meet your classmates, your professors, to attend face-to-face -face lectures and classes. And under this reality and this circumstances, Mai strives to provide as much help and support as it possible. Um, according to that, you have a useful online platform, permanent access to your classes and lectures, group forums and chats when you can ask questions and uh, discuss any issues. And of course, we are here for you as well. Watching the news, you can see that Russia opened its borders gradually. However, I'm sad uh, to say that the majority of you uh, will not be able to come to Russia for their status. Thus, uh, we have to implement spring semester online as well. My colleagues will guide you with all questions and details within the upcoming event. I do hope that vaccination program that starts all over the world will help us to see each other as soon as possible in person. All my colleagues in MAI and I are really looking forward to start on-campus education as soon as possible and to see you here and welcome you here. We really appreciate your help and support and your understanding. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Olga. Um, as she said, uh, this was not an easy year for both you and us, but um, as al she's also said, uh, we will have many things to do and we will keep stronger. Uh, on February the 9th, the new semester starts and uh, I'd like to ask my colleagues uh, how the education will be carried out in the new semester. So, Ms. Maya, could you please uh, tell us about the end of the semester, about probably the session, the terms of it? Uh, yes, of course. Um, as you know, guys, all this semester was online and uh, all uh, laboratories, practical seminars, uh, works will, uh, was held online, and uh, lectures. Uh, we uh, prepare very big uh, work for that, and uh, in this semester, uh, upcoming semester will be the same. So, and uh, what about the session? I, I know that the most of you uh, finished this semester and uh, I want to congratulate you about that. And uh, I hope that if you have got some problems, you will directly uh, connect with me and we will solve this problem. Thank you. Uh, I think it, it's really useful information. I hope, I think all students have your contact details. Of course. Um, could you please uh, say about the new schedule, when it will be available? Uh, the new schedule, uh, we will uh, send to our uh, students in WhatsApp chats, uh, where we uh, very um, uh, have uh, very uh, good uh, uh, conversations uh, every day by day so I, I hope that all guys know uh, my uh, contact and contact of my colleagues uh, so it's Miss Julia, Anastasia, Maria so guys please uh, 
connect with us anyway, and uh, we are, will wait your questions. Thank you. Um, also, I'm, I was checking the chat section, and um, I'd like to highlight that, guys, this is um, not uh, an, like, promo introductory um, the, uh, live stream. It's more about the current students. It's more about education, about like daily questions. So I think you should save your questions for the admission seminar. And you, it's better to ask them there because my colleagues, they're mainly responsible for current students who are studying now at MAI. Um, and I think we'll continue. As uh, you might heard from the news, uh, Russia is, and some other countries are opening their borders for uh, flight connections. And uh, some students from uh, these countries studying at Moscow Aviation Institute. And let's speak about the possibility of their arrival, Sergei. Yes, uh, all the students, uh, which countries are opened, uh, like Russia opened its borders with some several countries like Turkey, Great Britain, Tanzania, Egypt, Republic of Maldives, uh, and some others, like Republic of Korea. So all the students who are studying here in MAI from these countries can come to Russia. Yes, but as Maya said, uh, the upcoming semester will be online too. So if you want, you can come. But if you don't want, you can stay there up to September 2021. Uh, so, yep. If you would like to come, uh, it's okay. You can get acquainted with Moscow, communicate with professors directly from here, and you're welcome in Moscow. Thank you. Uh, actually, we do hope that by September of the year 2021, all students will be able to join us on campus and stop studying online. Um, Let's speak about uh, what should students do to get a visa invitation. What are the terms of its issuance and how to do this? I want to ask for this question. Uh, so, um, uh, if you want, if you're ready to come in Moscow, please, guys, uh, let us uh, uh, write down us the letter uh, to email int at uh, uh, my.ru so uh, with the dates when you want to visit the consulate but I want that you fix that the invitation will be ready after four weeks not less and after that when you will uh, connect with us uh, we will give you information when, when it will be done and my colleague Natalia, she will send you by mail your invitation and after that you will go to your uh, Russian consulate and you will prepare the visa. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, Maya has already answered uh, two questions from the chat section. Um, you have to contact Miss Natalia upon the visa, visa issuance. But let's imagine that um, you have already got your visa what uh, documents should you take with you and uh, how can you get to the university, Sergey? Yes. Um, okay. After uh, the receiving of the visa, you need to message Miss Natalia to int.mai.ru that you got visa. Please send her the copy of the visa and the copy of flight ticket. Uh, when we receive it, we will arrange uh, the meeting of you in the airport. So, um, after you will be met in the airport, our colleague will get you to the hospital of MAI in order to the checkup. About the documents, guys, uh, you need to bring us the educational documents, the regional ones of educational documents, and medical certificates. Also, you need to bring the vaccination certificate and the fluorography. It's like in these times, it's mandatory. Uh, so after, <clears throat> after bringing you to the MAI hospital, you will be given the acceptance to be settled to the hostel. So our colleague will bring you to the hostel. But in this situation of coronavirus, you will be isolated for 14 days in the hostel. 
Thank you. So, yeah, as Sergey said, uh, after getting to the hostel, you have to stay um, for two weeks uh, in isolation at the hostel, but you still have to, I, I know, sorry, leave somehow. And um, I think my colleagues um, will tell you now how the isolation will be carried out, where can you get, uh, where can, how can you order food, how can you do the test, and all these things, Sergey. Uh, yes, sure. Uh, so after your isolation, first of all, you can like purchase the food beforehand. Yes, you will have like one evening in order to buy food, in order to uh, get prepared to your isolation. That's first of all. Um, then we have uh, too many deliveries. So you can uh, purchase the food online and this food will be delivered to the hostel. Uh, also, we got seniors from different countries who will help you out with this. So we will give the contacts, your contacts to them and their contacts to you in order to like help you out with this. Because you will not be able to leave the isolated rooms for 14 days. Um, <coughs> After being quarantined for 10 or 12 days, you will be let uh, to leave the hostel to get the new test, the coronavirus test. If it will be negative, then after 15 days, you will be free. The quarantine will be stopped. So if you will have any like problems with this, any issues, you can contact either me or the senior of your country. Thank you, Sergey. Um, I also see some questions in uh, our chat and students uh, keep asking whether they, after the arrival, whether they can come into campus. If I am correct, after all the procedures that Sergey mentioned, after the hospital, after the uh, quarantine, you will be able to come into campus. However, all the classes will be held online. But if you are still in Moscow, you can uh, speak with our professors, but not during the classes, uh, because they will be held in line. Thank you, Sergey. It was pretty clear, and of course, it was really useful. Uh, dear students from India, Egypt, Maldives, and Korea, if you are ready to come to Moscow, we do wait you. Um, please think when it's better for you to come, and uh, write us on our uh, email, int at mai.ru. Please email us the preliminary dates of your arrival. And now uh, let's speak about the uh, learning practice that uh, is going to be held uh, after the second semester. If the education be carried online, how the practice will be carried out? Maya. Uh, of course, uh, in the end of each practice, uh, the students should have the uh, practice, uh, I don't know, factory anyway. So uh, after first year, students uh, will go to the departments. We will give you the tasks. But for that, you should complete the discipline, algorithmic uh, languages and programming. Because without that <laughs> and the knowledges, uh, unfortunately, you can't uh, complete all tasks. So when you will finish it, after uh, session spring uh, session uh, you will have the tasks and uh, uh, we will give you the uh, coordinates uh, and uh, con contacts of your teachers that uh, they will uh, give you the tasks uh, when you will complete it it's, it will be during by uh, one two weeks you will complete it uh, send it by mail to your teachers they will check it and after that you will have a grade so it's it's really easy but i hope when you will come here in the university you will be um, uh, you will have more interesting practice on our factories uh, and uh, in our institute departments you will uh, do the drones by yourselves uh, you will work with the tool machines uh, with their materials uh, their forms and etc 
Thank you, Maya. I think uh, all the students are willing to come for practice because it's, it's going to be really interesting. Um, also, one more question uh, I will highlight is uh, about the payment for the second semester, when it should be done. Um, if you look at your learning agreement, you have to pay for your semester before February the 8th. Uh, due to the fact that in some countries the banks um, will be working with some uh, changes, um, we are asking you to send us your invoices, payment invoices, before February 15th or 20th. Please, after the payment, um, email the payment invoices to your uh, supervisor and indicate your medium of payment. It's, uh, guys, it's really important. Please uh, don't forget to do this. Also, Maya, one more question. I think it's uh, related to the exam session. Some students have academic debts. How can they get rid of them? Yes, unfortunately, some students uh, still uh, have got the debts, but uh, it's okay. We have got some time. Uh, I want to give you the time till the rest of the, this month, um, February, uh, so when you will uh, get started uh, uh, to learning process. Uh, you will have got opportunity to connect with your teachers, uh, uh, to fix with them the date and the time, uh, and when your teachers will connect with me and uh, tell me good result, uh, results uh, for your re-examinations, I hope. And after that, uh, I will fill all the documents uh, sent into the dean's offices, and they will uh, put your marks in the system. So it will be uh, means uh, that uh, you are close all your midterm exam uh, winter session. So, and guys, I really ask you, uh, do everything in time. It's, it's really important. Uh, you will uh, not have uh, any problems if you will close all your debts, all your session in time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Also, um, from the beginning of the semester, you, we have introduced a new motivation system to our groups and to our monitors. Uh, for the senior students. And uh, as I know, uh, upon uh, when participating in this program, students can get some prizes at the end of each semester. Uh, Maya, could you please um, tell us about the system uh, more? Because I think it could be really useful and interesting for students to participate in it. Yes, of course. It's a, it's really interesting project. Uh, we started it in the autumn, spring. Uh, this is a motivation system uh, for our students um, uh, from second year and uh, upcoming. So, uh, what they should do? So, we have got the score system uh, with the points. Uh, the most uh, uh, big point it's uh, 100. So, uh, till the rest of the semester, each group uh, can have uh, such point. So, uh, e points consist of attendance of the groups, um, uh, their scientific works, uh, some sports, uh, participating, everything that they will uh, participate, they can uh, connect, connect with us and tell us that Maya, I have got the certificate uh, for rugby, for something like that. And after that, we will give you five or ten points. Uh, we will decide this, uh, how many points we will uh, go into the group. And in the end of the semester, of course, uh, the uh, real big role will be after the session if the group will close uh, all um, members of the group will close the session in time without any debts we will give you uh, big uh, uh, scores big points and uh, when we will calculate it in the end um, uh, we will uh, have four best groups from each courses and uh, uh, for leaders of the groups because it's a really uh, helpful persons uh, that uh, help us work with the students um, so 
Um, and after that, we will give you a really good prizes. For example, ma marriage from the university, it's really cool. And uh, some uh, museum visitors uh, of Cosmonautics Museum, for example, ice skating, pizza party, and etc. I, I think it will be interesting and uh, I hope uh, that uh, in the next semester we will have uh, this experience too. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, when I was studying, I didn't have such, such a system, but it sounds really cool. Also, you might have noticed that we had some uh, changes among us, and we had to say hello, we had to say goodbye, I'm sorry, for Sergey. And now let's welcome our guest, uh, Shimon Gazoui. He is currently our, um, uh, he currently works in our um, department 106. And in parallel, he's our graduate. And uh, you know him really well. He was uh, teaching ecology in this semester. So, hi, Zoe. Hello. Um, as you have been our student, so we wanted to ask you to tell about your experience, how it was for you to be our student. So, please, could you please say a few words? It was okay, <laughs> if uh, that's the word I can say. Uh, I did spend uh, four years as an undergrad here at uh, MAI, and I graduated last summer, and my overall experience was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was at your graduation party, and your speech there was really very impressive. Well, you have graduated from the School of Aircraft Engineering, right? English medium program. Yeah, English medium program. <laughs> uh, yes, I graduated from the Department of Flight Dynamics and Control, which is the 106 department where I currently work as well. Uh, and where are you currently studying? So you're doing your master's, right? Yes, I'm doing my master's degree now in the same department, in the 106 department here at my. Uh, thank you. And um, apart from studies, uh, what do you do now? Where do you work? What's your current like tasks? Well, I'm a research engineer in uh, the pilot vehicle laboratory, which is a laboratory of the 106 department. And I'm an assistant in the same department, the 106, also an assistant in uh, the international department where I have been reading the ecology lectures for last semesters and doing uh, laboratory classes with uh, other students in my department. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also, guys, uh, I'd like to mention that um, in the chat section, our colleagues are also participating. They're answering your question. Please uh, read it thoroughly because they are trying to answer what we do not highlight uh, here. But some like practical questions. Um, my colleague, Nat Miss Natalia, who was mentioned actually by Sergey, she's also monitoring uh, the chat section. And um, I wanted, Zoe, to speak with you about um, not usual things that we discussed during the live streams. I want to ask you about the enrollment procedure. Because uh, some students uh, from far abroad countries, they are planning uh, to work and stay in Russia. But in every country, this procedure is different. Uh, can you tell us about uh, Russian experience? Well, um, being a student in Russia first, uh, if your question is really about uh, the possibility to work in Russia, for example, after enrolling in a university, um, with uh, the uh, student status as a student in Russia, you have a student visa. With your student visa, you are able to work in a, an educational institution like a university. So you do not need to do a lot of procedures for that. You just need to be enrolled in the university. And after, after you graduate, there is a possibility to um, get more documents. Well, first, uh, that's not exactly just when you graduate. Let's say after three years in Russia, you are eligible for uh, a partial residence permit, like a part-time residence permit with which you can work. 
And after you graduate, if you graduate uh, with honors, you are able to uh, ask for a residence permit, which in turn will also allow you to work. So that's the Russian experience. <laughs> Thank you. So you have to stay for at least three years to apply for a temporary residence permit. And uh, you can uh, partially work if you have student visa. It's pretty easy, but when you get here, I think uh, you, our colleagues will lead you and guide. I don't think it will be difficult. Um, Zoe, what are your plans for future? Are you going to stay in Russia? That's still an open question. I do not know exactly, but right now I'm in Russia and yeah, that's all I can say. Right now I'm here for the future. It's still an open question. <laughs> I hope you will find an answer to this open question soon. I wanted to thank you. It was really interesting. I think this information was really useful for our students, at least even if they are uh, at their first year of studies, when they get to their senior years, it would be useful for them. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And now we have to say hello to our second guest. He is the student of the second year of the master's course of the Russian medium program of ballistics and hydroaerodynamics at Himan Gurav from India. Hi. 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 Uh, could you please um, share with us how the online learning was carried out this semester? What was difficult? What was not so just your experience. So I think this year the online course for me was particularly easier than the offline medium because in the offline medium we have to interact more and to clear the exam we have to really explain everything. But in the online medium it was a bit easier in that case. And I would say that there was no problem related to communication as most of the professors were available in our department and we could always convey each of our problems to them and since I'm in the 106 department most of the work was carried out regarding the simulation so it was carried out in on our own PCs and we could remotely do it so for me particularly this time was I had more free time and I continued my work as it was and from the side of professors, they were very open to help me to complete the necessary work. Thank you. Um, I have seen uh, one more question in the chat. I think we should once again answer it. If all the education have been carried online, but students still have to take their practical training, uh, how it will be organized? Will, be practice, will the practice be shifted to another semester or it will be uh, organized online? Ms. Maya. Uh, this is questions from the first year student. Um, yes, I think. He, he didn't mention. Uh, if uh, it's about the first year uh, student, we already uh, say to you that uh, we have got the uh, practice after when you finish the, uh, the spring session uh, midterms exam. So after that you will have two weeks and uh, yes you will complete it. If it's about the uh, two and plus year students uh, yes, we will uh, shift it uh, s for next uh, period of time. We will let you know about that. It's not the problem uh, because of with the f last year of students, we uh, we are uh, finished already everything. So they just uh, should uh, uh, write down their diploma work, and I uh, really uh, wish you good luck with that. And uh, so everything is easy. So if you have got some questions, please directly connect with me. And uh, I, of course, I will everything uh, tell you what you should do. Thank you. I think we should speak um, 
a little bit more with uh, Gaurav. Uh, the situation with COVID in Moscow is currently improving. As um, you might have heard, uh, Russia has started the vaccination campaign and there is a positive dynamics, really positive. Um, we hope that all the restrictions uh, will be waived by in some time. Uh, and our first year students will enjoy in full scale their stay in Moscow. Gaurav, how do you find Moscow? Can you tell our students uh, what um, they can do here? Because I think you're staying here for quite long, so you really know Moscow well. Yes. So I would like to start first. Moscow is a really big city and a real power center of this world. And from that, in Moscow, one can never be bored, actually. And fr frankly, if if someone is asking about COVID times from the September, everything was usually open. So anyone can, I went to usually like to go to theater or to go, for example, ice skating right now is the season. And then there are a lot of interesting museums which show the interesting history of Russia and the Soviet Union, for example. And this can help any individual to expand their point of view or for their lives. And this can make them a really special individual, yes. And what else? Yes. And other than that, I would like to say that in Moscow, there are a lot of interesting restaurants. For example, I'm, I like to eat tasty food, so usually if during the COVID times, this was one of my pastimes to go with friends, to walk around in different parks and to try new food. And other than that, if I was during lockdown, there were sometimes situations that one doesn't like to work at the same place from home. So there is a very interesting library, which is in the center of Moscow, named after Imini Lenina. And a lot of great people work there. So if you work there, one can complete the work faster and secondly, you can feel the atmosphere. And there are, I would like to say that the biggest thing I liked about Moscow is the metro, which is really fast. Secondly, I like a lot of green parks, which, all, which are always there in all neighborhoods. And thirdly, the Russian people as a whole, they are very straightforward and quite open. And I really, li that's why I like Russia about this, especially all of Russia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think you have mentioned uh, plenty of interesting places, e even the library. I don't think, think um, even Russian students know about it, but uh, I also have visited it. It's really great, so uh, I would also recommend visiting it. It's really cool. Um, I think uh, we can thank you f for your time. Thank you for your like five minutes <laughs> of fame. Uh, thank you very much. I also wanted um, uh, ask. I also wanted to ask Maya about the scientific um, events that uh, will be um, held this semester. Because we mentioned that there is some motivational system that is also related to scientific activity of students, and we provide the scientific activity. So, please. Of course, uh, we will give uh, this course for participating in the scientific uh, some conferences. For example, it's a Moscow Aviation Conference. Traditionally, uh, it's a Gagarin uh, readings. Uh, I support that Gaurav uh, take participate in this uh, uh, re really good uh, conference. So in this year, you should apply all your documents till the 28th of February. Um, and uh, the conference will be held um, uh, between the 20th and 23rd of April. Uh, it gives you a lot of um, opportunities uh, like to communicate with the professors, with other students, because it's not only my students will, have, uh, uh, will uh, participate in this uh, conference. It's uh, students from all Moscow uh, institutes and not all Moscow. Uh, so, and of course, it will be some your, um, you will increase your, uh, improve your skills uh, with the public um, speaking. Um, so I think it's very nice for you. 
And uh, your thesis is if you will win in some uh, sections, because for English speaking students, we have got international sections. But if you want to uh, participate in Russian sections, please, you are welcome. Uh, and uh, your thesis will be published in our Gagarin Credence uh, magazine. So I think it's really pretty cool, too. Thank you. Thank you. It was. Uh, also interesting. I see that um, you know, some students in the chat section are arguing and asking uh, which countries are open to arrive in Russia. Uh, I think it's better if um, for now I, I list uh, the, uh, all the countries that are currently have flights uh, with Russia. It's Great Britain, Vietnam, India, Qatar, Tanzania, Turkey, Switzerland, Egypt, Maldives, United Arab Emirates, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzia, uh, the Republic of Korea, Cuba, uh, Serbia, Finland, and Japan. So if you are not uh, from the country in this list, you are currently cannot come. And you have to track the news when uh, the borders with your country will be open and you will be able to get your visa. And um, I think... Uh, for now, we have finished. I do hope uh, that we have answered most of the questions, but if you still have some, uh, don't hesitate to contact Ms. Maya or Mr. Sergei, uh, who was uh, at the end of this live stream. And we are do waiting you here for the next semester. We are do hoping that uh, all of you will be able to come and enjoy in full scale uh, the education at MAI. Um, but uh, for now, uh, please take care of yourself and uh, prepare for come. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.